Hello Bombers, Mr. Costello here. Just want to talk to you a little bit about our Return to Learn plan. The plan is to bring students back on August 26th. I hope you guys are as excited as I am to have students here at school. Knowing that there are concerns out there, I want to take the time to send out some videos, starting with this one over the next few weeks, to explain some new uh, policies and procedures that will help protect all of us this fall as we return to school. Again, we met several times over the spring and the summer as a leadership team to talk about how we bring kids back safely this fall while still achieving our academic goals and focusing on everyone's social and emotional health. Again, we want to reduce the risk to our students and staff as much as possible, and this could not be more important to me as a father of four students in our building here. With that in mind, we spent a lot of time focusing on social distancing measurements as well as ways to sanitize our building and keep it as clean or cleaner than it has ever been in the past. Social distancing, we're confident that with the size of our classes here at Bennett, we're able to maintain that six feet in the classroom. And in the classrooms where we can't keep that six feet, we're building partitions. We've built a whole new schedule around the idea and the concepts of maintaining that social distance and keeping students within their peer groups. For example, first grade students interact with first grade students throughout the day and limit their exposure to second grade, for example. With this new schedule, students will stay in their homeroom throughout the day and our teachers will rotate. We've added staff to help accommodate so that their teachers rotate through less classrooms in a day. We're gonna open the windows as much as possible and utilize our beautiful green space here as long as we can throughout the fall. With that being said, there will be times where we cannot maintain social distances. It'll be difficult during drop-off time, small group instruction, the limited number of times where students will have to pass, and at pickup time. During these times, we do ask that you wear a mask. Now, we're not mandating masks, but we are strongly encouraging them. And if you need a mask, please contact the school office and we'll make sure we get you a mask. We do not want the reason you don't wear a mask to be that you don't have one available. Again, we're doing this out of respect for our own health and those of our fellow classmates and teachers. In the area of sanitation, we will be increasing hand washing, we're teaching our children about limiting the amount of times they touch their face, and many other personal hygiene issues that will help slow the spread of COVID-19. Each individual student will have their own supplies and we will limit the amount of supplies that are shared. If for some reason it's a manipulative, a play item, or some other material that cannot be shared, it'll be sanitized after each person's use. We've added staff to do deep cleaning after school and our staff is committed to cleaning restrooms and high traffic areas every two hours or more often if possible. Buses and playgrounds will be wiped down and sanitized after each route or recess time. We ask that you please check your student's temperature in the morning before you send them to school. And if they're sick or showing any kind of signs at all, please keep them home. It will be very important that we err on the side of caution. And if we think someone's sick or not feeling well, stay home. I'll continue to send out information to you guys in the upcoming days between now and the beginning of the school year to explain these changes more in depth. Again, I'm very excited to have you guys back in the building. It's been too quiet here for too long, and I look forward to hearing the sounds of students and staff in the halls again. Thank you, and have a good day.